Hello everyone, today I am going to demonstrate how to do the practical of peripheral blood smear. Before starting with the procedure, we must have to know about which are the instruments required for this practical. 3 to 4 clean glass lights, staining rack, slide supporter, this pipette we are using as a blower, pricking instrument which includes spirit, cotton and lancet, distilled water or buffered water, Leishman stain, cedar wood oil and this compound light microscope. Now let's begin with the procedure part. First of all you have to take 3 to 4 or 4 to 5 clean glass lights. Choose one slide as a spreader. For example this one which having the smooth edge you have to choose as a spreader and put on some other point. With proper aseptic precautions prick your finger and put one drop of blood on a glass light as you are seeing in this video. Place spreader slide just in front of the blood drop at the angle of 45 degree. Move spreader slide slightly backward and hold for a second. Now move spreader slide slowly and smoothly towards opposite side with maintaining proper angle of 45 degree. And when you move the slide on the opposite side, it must be in a single stroke or single move. This is how you have to make a smear. Now let your smear to dry. Once the blood smear has been dry, we have to find out which smear fulfills the criteria of ideal blood smear. Now which are the criteria for ideal blood smear? It should be tongue shape, it should cover entire width of the glass light as well as 3 to 4 cm in length of the glass light. It should be uniform in thickness, neither too thick nor too thin. There should not be any cross striations or air gaps. This smear fulfills the criteria of ideal blood smear so that we are going to proceed further with the procedure of fixing and staining of this glass light or of this blood smear. We are going to stain this blood smear with the help of Leishman stain. Composition and functions of Leishman stain. Composition of Leishman stain, methylene blue, eosin, acetone free methyl alcohol. Functions of each content. Methylene blue, it's a basic dye and it stains acidic part of the cell for example the nuclei, cytoplasm of WBC and granules of basophils. Eosin, it's a acidic dye stains basic part of the cell for example eosinophilic granules. Acetone free methyl alcohol fixes the smear to the glass slides. Why we are using acetone free methyl alcohol? Because acetone causes lysis of the cell. Now we have to add a number of Leishman stain drops and the drop should be equal to that it should cover almost entire of the blood smear. And whenever we are adding the drops of the Leishman stain we must have to count number of drops. After that we have to wait for 2 minutes but during this time never allow smear to dry. This 2 minute it is known as fixation time as during this 2 minute the smear or the blood smear going to fix to the glass slide. After the end of 2 minutes we have to add same number of buffered water or double number of distilled water. So here we are adding double number of distilled water like this.
After adding double number of distilled water, now we have to wait for 8 to 10 minutes. During this 8 to 10 minutes, we have to blow air gently, like this. This 8 to 10 minutes time, it is known as staining time because during this time, blood cells get stained. After the end of 10 minutes, we have to hold slide like in a slanting position so that all the lacement stain and distilled water has been fall down and after that we have to wash it under tap water. But here the direction of the water first touch on the thumb and later it will flow on the glass slide like this. We have to wash the smear until it gives pinky tinge. It may take 1 to 2 minutes. After washing of the glass slide, we have to put this wash stain smear on a slide support and let it dry. Once our stained blood smear has been dry, we have to put it on the mechanical stage of the compound light microscope. After that, we have to put a drop of cedar wood oil over the smear. Only a single drop we have to put on this blood smear or the stained blood smear. Now we have to immerse the 100x oil immersion lens into the blur smear cedar wood oil drop like this as you are seeing in this video. The procedure should be done gently otherwise it is going to break the glass slide. Now gently we have to move the mechanical stage downward meanwhile we have to see the view from the eyepiece lens and we have to put at one point where we are able to clearly see the blood cell. Once we see the blood cell now we are going to identify different types of WBCs and on this blood smear we are going to do the practical of differential WBC count and absolute WBC count. Once you fix your smear, now you have to identify different types of WBC. There are two major types of WBC, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, there are three cells, neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils. In the agranulocyte, there are two different types of cells, lymphocyte and monocyte. In the lymphocyte, there are two types of division, structural division and functional division. Structural division of lymphocyte, it is large lymphocyte and small lymphocyte. Functional division of lymphocyte, T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. Alright, so these are the different types of WBCs, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, these are the granulocytes, lymphocyte and monocyte, these are the agranulocytes. Now I am going to tell you some detail about each cell step by step. First we begins with the neutrophil. The size of the neutrophil is 10 to 14 micrometer, nucleus multi-lobed, 1 to 6 lobes of the nucleus, purple in color, cytoplasm slight bluish, granules fine sand like particles, red, brown or purplish in colors, functions of the neutrophil, phagocytosis and mediate the febrile response. So this is how the neutrophil looks like, differential neutrophil count it is 50 to 70 percentage. And these are the actual images of the neutrophil. This is the three lobe neutrophil. This one it is the four lobe neutrophil. And this one it is the five lobe of the neutrophil. Alright. Eosinophil differential eosinophil count 1 to 4 percentage. Cell size 10 to 14 micrometer. Nucleus it is bilobed, spectacle shape and purple in color. Cytoplasm eosinophilic and light pink in color. Granules large, coarse, brick red in color, do not cover the nucleus, function mild phagocytosis, limiting allergic manifestations, provide local mucosal immunity. 
so this is how the eosinophil looks like and this is the actual image of eosinophil basophil differential basophil count less than one percentage cell size 10 to 14 micrometer nucleus bilobed purple in color arrange s in shape cytoplasm basophilic blue in appearance granules large coarse purple or blue and overlying the nucleus function mild phagocytosis allergic manifestations so this is how the basophil looks like lymphocyte differential lymphocyte count 20 to 40 percentage cell size small lymphocyte 7 to 10 micrometer equal to size of the rbc large lymphocyte 10 to 14 micrometer double to the size of rbc nucleus single very big oval all round in shape central in position occupying whole of the cell cytoplasm scanty sky blue in color less amount than the nucleus or in some other words nucleus occupy two third of the cytoplasm granules are absent so these are the granulocyte cells function it produces antibodies both of these are the small lymphocyte this one it is the large lymphocyte and that is also the large lymphocyte monocyte differential monocyte count 2 to 8 percentage cell size 10 to 18 micrometer nucleus single kidney shape pale in color and it is occupied peripheral part in the cytoplasm cytoplasm it is pale blue amount more than the nucleus granules absent function phagocytosis work as a tissue macrophages so this is how the monocyte looks like and these are the actual photographs of the monocyte now in the differential wbc count of your practical you have to make a square of 10 by 10 so there are 100 number of boxes in this square if you find neutrophil then you have to write n if you find eosinophil you have to write e if you find basophil you have to write b if you find small lymphocyte you have to write sl if you find large lymphocyte you have to write double l and if you find monocyte you have to write m and there is a one method which is known as telebar method through which you are going to focus different fields on the peripheral blood smear and uh, you have to identify different types of WBC starting from here if you find that there is a neutrophil you have to write N starting from this point up to this point you have to identify 10 different types of WBCs and you have to write in this box alright now you have to move slightly downward and again you have to move on the opposite side like this and once you reach this point now you have to move your focus downward and again move on the opposite sides so this method it is known as telebar method so once you identify different types of WBC 100 in number and your 10 by 10 square it will looks like this so neutrophil for example out of 100 WBC 61 in number eosinophil out of 100 WBC 2 in number basophil out of 100 WBC 1 in number small lymphocytes out of 100 WBC 16 in number large lymphocyte out of 100 WBC 15 in number and monocyte out of 100 WBC 5 in number so this is 10 by 10 square which having the 100 boxes and we already identified and counted different types of WBC 100 in number out of 100 in number we already got these values just adding the percentage we will get the differential WBC count differential neutrophil count 61 percentage differential eosinophil count 2 percentage differential basophil count 1 percentage differential lymphocyte count 31 percentage here we have to add small lymphocyte plus large lymphocyte count and uh, differential monocyte count it is 5 percentage what does it mean 61 percent that means out of 100 WBC 61s are of the neutrophil 2 percentage eosinophil that means out of 100 WBC 2 in number of the eosinophil 1 percentage basophil means out of 100 WBC there may be possibility of one number of the basophil lymphocyte out of 100 WBCs there possibility that small plus large lymphocyte 31 in number and monocyte 5 percentage that means out of 100 WBCs there will be possibility that five number of monocytes all right so this is the differential wbc count 
Once we got this differential WBC count, now we are going to calculate the absolute WBC count. So here it is the formula for the calculation of absolute WBC count. Absolute WBC count is equal to differential WBC count multiplied by total WBC count divided by 100. So in this formula total WBC count you have to put your value when you completed the practical of total WBC count. For example, you already got the total WBC count which is the 10,000 WBCs per cubic mm of the blood. These 10,000 values you have to put as a total WBC count. We already know the differential WBC count. For neutrophil differential neutrophil count it is 61 percentage. So we are going to put this 61 value over here as a differential neutrophil count. Total WBC count it is of the 10,000 divided by 100. So the absolute neutrophil count is equal to 61 multiplied by 10,000 divided by 100 and we will get the absolute neutrophil count which is 6,100 neutrophils per cubic mm of the blood. Absolute eosinophil count 200 eosinophils per cubic mm of the blood. Absolute basophil count 100 basophils per cubic mm of the blood. Absolute lymphocyte count both the small plus large lymphocyte it will be 3,100 lymphocytes per cubic mm of the blood. Absolute monocyte count 500 monocytes per cubic mm of the blood. So this is the differential WBC count that means out of 100 WBCs how many number of neutrophils, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte and monocyte and this is the absolute WBC count. Whenever we speak about neutrophilia, neutropenia, eosinophilia, eosinopenia, basophilia, basopenia, lymphocytosis or lymphocytopenia, monocytosis or monocytopenia we are going to consider the value of absolute WBC count. If the value increase we can say that the count will increase and if the value is decreased we can say that the count is decreased. Alright. I hope via this presentation now you are able to do the practical of peripheral blood smear and their counting of the differential WBC count and absolute WBC count. If you like this presentation please try to share it with your batch, groups, friends and colleagues.